In the education system, online learning is becoming the preferred method for adult learners to seek higher education. According to a report from the Babson Research Group, approximately 400,000 more students were engaged in at least one online course in 2013 than in the year prior. It is estimated that over 7.1 million students are involved with some form of online learning. As the online systems become more prevalent and online education becomes a bigger part of the education system, it is important that we remain innovative in our ways of developing and designing online courses. Several studies have identified best practices for online course development and delivery. All of the studies have concluded that the use of discussion assignments is a major way for the online course to build community and facilitate student-to-student -student interaction. The discussion assignment provides a forum to students to interact with each other and for the instructor to act as a mediator, such as in a Socratic classroom discussion in a face-to-face -face classroom. Historically, discussion board assignments have consisted of a written assigned topic and students producing a written response to the question, followed by replies to fellow student postings. This remains the typical format for discussion-based assignments. The main purpose for the discussion posting is to create communication between students as opposed to directly with the instructor. The instructor serves as the conductor for the discussion and can contribute to the discussion to bolster expanding discussion threads beyond a single reply. Discussion assignments are important in online courses in that they develop a community in the class. There are two major benefits to using guided discussions in online courses. First, they promote interaction between students. This interaction can benefit the students by learning from each other. Uh, hello class, Mr. Watson. This video is on the course highlights of the file prevention practice. Uh, this is it. Uh, this class has been amazing. Uh, I learned from the best. Uh, I may have more knowledge than the current firefighter with the importance and main concerns of uh, the inspection process. Uh, I enjoyed the video discussion boards because it helped me understand the importance uh, in different point of views. Uh, it led me to see in their shoes everyone in the class was great. I enjoyed talking and receiving their insight and everything. Um, I came to this class with little to no knowledge of fire inspection procedures. Uh, in the seven weeks that we were in this class, you taught me the main critical concerns. Uh, for the inspection position. Alright, so some things I liked about the class was the video discussions. Um, it's something that I really haven't had experience with in online classes. I thought it was really cool being able to interact with um, you, Professor, and all the other students in the class. I thought it was it, it was it was different from you know being online you don't expect to have that kind of connection with people because it's it's basically you know it's online you just you just type out stuff and you answer questions that way but with the video discussions it was more much more personal and um, I got to learn things from some of the other students in the class that were firefighters already and I'm sure by now you all know that I'm not a firefighter yet as the student in this video points out, they had little experience in the field, but they benefited from the expertise of their classmates in the discussion assignments. The second component is instructor presence and student presence. Discussion forums allow the instructor to make comments viewed not only by the student, but by the entire class. This promotes instructor presence in the course for all of the students. It also identifies who's participating in the course and who's not, and the depth for which they are participating. As pointed out in the next clip, it's evident when students are not present in the discussion assignments. All right, Mr. Watson, for our wrap up, um, I just want to go through some of the things I, I liked and uh, some of the things I didn't like as much. Um, first of all, um, I like the video discussion. I think that um, it's different to learn something, and it's a different animal altogether to have to articulate what you've learned. I think it, you actually Do you believe that discussion boards build community in online learning? I do, um, to some extent. I believe that they, they do build a community uh, atmosphere. You are collaborating with a, another student. You're, you're uh, throwing ideas against the wall and seeing what sticks, and you're bouncing off ideas with other students. So yes, I do feel like you're building that some kind of 
a community atmosphere. It's almost kind of like when you use a social network or Facebook. You post something, you comment on something, you're doing that same thing with the discussion board. So I honestly feel that that's kind of building an online community. If you were to participate in a video discussion post, do you believe that it would generate more of a sense of community in the, in the class or less of a sense of community as opposed to the written discussion post? I've never participated in one, but I can see where you see somebody and then hear their voice and, and hear their more off-the-cuff remarks where instead of something they thought about and typed out, you would start to get a better sense of the person and, and have an overall better sense of community. We do find that the majority of discussion postings out there remain uh, simply the type-ins type of responses where a discussion question is asked, a um, paragraph or two in a reply. In your coursework, have you ever utilized video discussion boards? No, we haven't. classes have you ever utilized online discussion boards I have utilized online discussion boards um, and I feel that they work very well okay have you ever in your use of discussion boards uh, used video postings for your discussion assignments I have and do you feel that those video discussion postings were better uh, or more effective than the written discussion postings, or do you prefer to do a written discussion post? I always prefer to do written just because I feel that it's so hard to come up with a video, to be creative and things like that. I think, I think it's difficult. Um, I think a video discussion is great because you can see who's in your class. I especially love it when the teacher does it so you can get an idea and a feel of who the teacher is. Um, what, you know, what kind of personality they have, and I think that's what really shines through when you do a video discussion. One innovation in the discussion assignment has been the introduction of audio and video to the process. Programs such as VoiceThread and learning management platforms such as Canvas have opened the opportunity for students to upload or embed audio or video into discussion assignments. There are a wide variety of learning management systems being utilized in online programs across the nation, the most common being Blackboard, Canvas, Learning Studio, and Moodle. Okay, so what kind of learning management program do you use? I've used a couple different types of learning uh, interactions, such as Canvas or on uh, also Ricky Rescue, their discussion boards. So the current uh, online learning management system that I use in my master's program right now is called Desire to Learn, or D2L. Uh, currently, with discussion boards, we have one uh, every week. Sometimes we have more than one every week. Usually we have three or four. Um, we discuss various things and they're going to go in the class. We read different material and we discuss them. We uh, play games and we discuss uh, how we feel about how the certain game went. Obviously, discussion boards that use video are not appropriate for all types of discussions in an online course. Um, for example, it's difficult with a video to be able to cite resources unless you post those in or put them in afterwards. However, for promoting discussion and discussions themselves, generally you're looking for students' opinions or students' articulation of knowledge, and that becomes a personal domain. So citation is not necessarily an important part of discussion posts unless you're looking for their research ability and to identify where they got their information from. But again, with discussion posts, oftentimes we're asking for opinions or we're asking for the student to discuss and work through a particular point. And those discussions, just like in a classroom, are incredible um, to promote the community within that online program. Best practices in designing a discussion assignment are to be specific on the question or problem you're asking in the discussion. Provide specific parameters for your students to follow so they remain on course with the assignment. This is extremely important when dealing with video or audio discussion. Keeping the posting to a manageable time frame, for example. The parameters you establish as an instructor or designer will aid in managing the replies and assignment of credit for those responses. Okay. I do feel that discussion boards uh, promote community. Uh, I like the fact 
I know that myself, I'm more open on there because of the anonymity that I have. Uh, I almost feel as if they really don't know who I am, so I'm not afraid to say what's on my mind truly. I, I, I'm not at fear of reprisal from anything or that I could be ashamed of any answer I would give, where if they could see my face, I might feel a little more apprehensive about the whole thing, where I might not be as open to self-evaluation, especially when you're doing things. I'm in organizational leadership, and they often ask us to give our weaknesses and, and what we could improve on. And you can't be brutally honest sometimes when you're afraid that you're going to either be made fun of or you have to be embarrassed about your answer. And I find that by having that anonymity, I am way more open to give an answer and be honest with them. As we move to the future of online learning, utilizing the different technologies out there for discussion posts such as social media, uh, Snapchatting, Vines, voice threads, all of those different types of uh, resources that are available to us, we may find that we take the discussion post beyond the pages and paper of written assignments and bring it into a more uh, articulative manner for the students to be able to participate in.